Hey guys, I'm Carrie Coakley, the Education and Support Manager here at Open Implants. Today I'm going to go through the implant libraries that we have available in ExoCAD. ExoCAD, the implant selection is located in the design step, not in the scanning phase. So we're going to go straight to that window first. The first step in the abutment design is to select the implant library. And make sure that you are always checking the right implant site. Um, so we're going to select the Zimmer screw 4.5, so we'll go here. We're going to select the engaging titanium base. The next step is to select the height. Make sure that the size and height match. That's super important. Um, this might require a little bit of pre-planning on your part. You are selecting the final height at this step. So if you have a 10 millimeter tie base, and you wanted to a six millimeter tie base, but that's the selection that you're gonna pick. So the last thing I'd like to point out is the multi-unit selection. This option is for non-engaging implant caps compatible with the Nobel multi-unit titanium inserts. Find the multi-unit temp non-engaging parts in the drop-down menu as well. Once the system is selected, you have options for the kit to the heights up to 12 millimeters. The option at the very bottom is for immediate load. So it will uh, give you more space between the titanium base and the final crown. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at Open Implants or shoot me an email, ccopley at openimplants.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you find this video helpful.